one pancake, two pancakes, three pancakes. Did someone say pancakes? We just made a fresh batch. Here you go, Kobe. Dig in. Don't forget the maple syrup. <laughs> mm, I love pancakes. Do you love them more than dinosaurs? What? For my breakfast? Mm -hmm. Do you love them this much or this much? I love them so much. If I was stuck on a desert island, I'd only eat pancakes. <laughs> if that's all you're going to eat, then the entire island would have to be made out of pancakes. Pancake Island? Sounds like the best place ever. Do dinosaurs live there? They could, but you'd have to share the pancakes with them. Oh, then maybe not. Maybe Pancake Island has a hot chocolate volcano. Not only that, the beaches could be made out of brown sugar. Whoa, that sounds awesome. We've got to go there sometime. Why not right now? Come on, you guys, let's find Pancake Island. Yeah, let's go! Hit it, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Wait up! This is gonna be fun. Well, ahoy there, first mate Kobe. Are ye ready for an adventure? Arr, sure am, Captain Eddie. Pirate ship! Pirate ship! Pirate ship! Pirate ship! I hope it's true that Pancake Island has a hot chocolate volcano and brown sugar beaches. Look out! Butter Butter Look, Look out! out. Ah. Shoo, you parrots! Shoo! Shoo, you parrots! Ah. Shoo, you Shoo, parrots. parrots! Look at those butter patties! That's what I call a very slippery situation. Good thing you're steering, Eddie. Uh, Eddie? Whoa! Water skis! Kobe, take the wheel! M me Steer the boat? I don't know, Eddie. You're the captain. Ah, it's easy. When Sophie says go right, go right. She says go left, go left. Simple. See ya! But, Eddie! Just follow Sophie's directions. Wahoo! <laughs> left is... Um, let's see. That way? Or is that right? Why can't I ever remember this? We're sailing into more butter, and it looks sticky! Quick, turn left! So that means I turn this way. No, no! I said turn left! Turn left! Turn left! Turn left. Ah. Ah. Guess that was left. Guess that was left. Guess that was Guess left. That was left. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You're gonna repeat everything I say, aren't you? Repeat everything I say. Repeat everything I say. Come on, you birds, quit it. Oh no! It looks like Pancake Island is surrounded by butterbirds. We gotta get out of here. Quick, Kobe! Turn right! Oh boy, I hope this works. Kobe, what are you doing? Now we're heading towards Pancake Island. We're gonna get flattened, like a pancake! One left, now a right! One left, now right! Left, uh, right! Hey, don't confuse One me! Left, now I have right. 
have enough trouble telling left from right. Trouble telling left from right. Trouble telling left from right. Shh, my friends will hear you. Trouble telling left from right. Trouble telling left from right. Shoo! Shoo! I got kind of bumpy, but I liked it. What's happening? Our ship's in trouble, and Kobe isn't listening to my directions at all. What in the name of jumping jellyfish is going on with him? I don't know, Sophie, but I'm gonna find out. Ready, steady, Eddie! Mm. Need a little help, Kobe? Trouble telling left from right! Those silly parrots. What are they squawking about? Trouble telling left from right! Trouble telling left from right? <sighs> They're talking about me. Thanks a lot, guys. Now everyone knows I can't tell my left from my right. Aw, oh, Kobe. Don't feel bad. Easy for you to say. It isn't hard for you and Eddie. But you're never going to learn if you're afraid to ask. Don't feel embarrassed or ashamed. It's something that every kid faces. I'll tell you a secret. I can't tie my shoelaces. Wait, you can't tie your laces? You can always ask for help. help, help. Just give a little yell. Help, help. I will always understand. Stand, stand. Lend me a helping hand. Stand, stand. Thanks for telling me, Eddie. But Sophie, you do everything well. Oh, really? I can tie my shoes, I know my ABCs. I go down the big slide in the park, but at the time, my secret is I'm still afraid of the dark. But I can always ask for help. help, help. I just give a little yell. Help, help. Friends will understand. Stand, stand. Thanks, guys. I had no idea you two ever needed help with anything. You're awesome friends. Awesome friends! Awesome friends! Awesome friends. Awesome friends. Hey, Kobe, want to help me steer the ship? Do I ever? I mean, aye aye, Captain Eddie. Next stop, Pancake Island! Not Tessa stand around and look confused, party. Well, Tessa, see... Okay, stop! Here's the thing. Left and right, well, I still can't tell them apart. Can you help me? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. And you know what? I can help you out. Put both hands up and you'll understand. Make an L for left and that your left hand. I made an L. My left and now I understand I can tell my right from my left with nothing but my hands. Thanks, Tessa. Anytime. Now we're dancing Tessa style. Conga line. Come on, everybody. Conga to the left. Come on. Left is this way. That kid sure has the right stuff. And the left stuff, too. Conga! Oops! Oh. 
<laughs> You're going to need a thorough examination. We'll get x-rays, then we'll pop the old kneecap and take a look under the hood. But Sophie, it's only a scrape. Trust me, Mia, I'm a doctor. Well, at least, I want to be a doctor when I grow up. You know how many years of school that takes? No? How many? Like, a thousand hundred million. Oh. Vroom! 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 Guess what I want to be when I'm big? An airplane? Zoom! No! Zoom. A pilot! Hey, that's what I want to be, too! I thought of it first. We can both be pilots. Zoom! Zoom! <laughs> Well, I'm the first pilot, so I sit here. I'll be the passenger. Hey, what about me? You can be the... Co-pilot! Okay, but before takeoff, the co-pilot has to sit in his seat. Attention, passengers. Hold on. We're flying upside down. Whee! You can't do that. I'm the pilot. You're the... I can't decide if I want to be an astronaut, a rap singer or a farmer when I grow up. A farmer! Great idea, Kobe. Mia and Eddie are already dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the farm and we can have a hoedown. What's that? It's a country dance. Come on! Zoom, zoom! Whoa. That was fun. Take it away, Ziggy. And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song Sing this song Guys, let's get this party started, Tessa style. Where? There's no room. Hmm. We can just dance around all this stuff. Hit it, Kobe. I mean, Ziggy. isn't really set up for a dance party. We can fix it with a little elbow grease. We can make it spectacular. You know what this place really needs? Yep, a dancing dinosaur. Arr! No, what this place needs is decorations. Huh, <sighs> boring. Dinosaurs are boring. They're distinct. You mean extinct? That too. Wait. I have an idea. Balloons! I love balloons! Okay, we can blow them up together. Deal. <sighs> we'll get some of this mess cleaned up. <sighs> Eddie, you're supposed to be blowing up the balloons. But this is fun! See? Edward Lazy Pants, we've still got all those to do. Okay, okay. Here. Look! Perfect. Just be careful it doesn't blow away. Okay. Sit. Good balloon. Stay, stay. Bad balloon. Not now, I'm working. Okay, balloon, you win. I'll 
I'll take you for a walk, but only a short one. I've got a job to finish. Farm chores sure are fun. Do your job and soon you're done. Up and down, left and right. The barn floor goes from dull to bright. Sweep and sweeps the blues away. Not to mention dust and hay. Working, singing, we don't slow down. When we're done, we'll be dancing at the farm hotel. Did you blow up all of these? Sure did. But what did Eddie do? In fact, where is Eddie? <sighs> I bet he was off having fun while we all worked hard. Yeah, my elbow grease is all dried up. Well, let's go and find him. Come on. What in the name of bouncing buttercups is going on? Balloons are like dogs. You've got to take them out twice a day. Uh, Eddie, what happened to helping? But this is so much more fun. Not more fun than dancing. Does that mean it's time for the party? Here, boy. No, heel, Balloon, heel. Eddie, come on. I would if I could, but he's too strong. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm flying! Woohoo! Eddie, let go! Watch out! Don't hit the. Whoa, whoa! Ugh. Oh no! Oh, rats! Our balloons! Eddie! I am so, 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 so sorry! I just got carried away. You can say that again. I'll make it up to all of you, I promise. How? I'll blow up all of my balloons while you go and have fun. But Eddie, we came here to have fun together. And it won't be the same without you, even if you are a big airhead. We'll help you. Thanks, guys. You're the best. Partner, do -si do we did all the chores, and so the work is done and job's complete. Now we can dance with happy feet. Welcome aboard flight E. Heading to Backyard International Airport. We'll be flying Tessa style with your pilot and co-pilot, me and Eddie. You know, I'm not sure I want to be a pilot anymore. Any room in first class? Sure. So what are you going to be when you grow up? Something where I can keep my feet on the ground. Like a chicken or a race car driver. Or maybe a racing chicken. Sorry. No racing chickens in first class, sir. <laughs> Swing your partner, do -si do We did all the chores, and so the work is done and job's complete. Now we can dance with happy feet. Hey! 
<laughs> no dancing in first class either. <laughs> <laughs> From the brilliant puppeteer, Eddie! Once upon a time, there was a magnificent animal ball. Sir Teddy and Princess Pawpaw began to dance the most beautiful dance. Lady Hopalong joined in, dancing so daintily. <laughs> um, Lord Zebra asked Lady Hopalong for a dance, and she happily accepted. <laughs> Eddie, you ruined my puppet show. I was just making it funny. But I said it wasn't supposed to be funny. What if someone did that to you, Eddie? <sighs> I'm sorry, Mia. Let's try again. No, don't wanna. Do you wanna do something else? Eh. What about a carnival? It's got rides and music, but best of all, you can win prizes. Cuddly stuffed animal prizes. How cuddly? The cuddliest. Okay. Let's go to a carnival! Yay! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song Sing this song It's gonna be fun. <gasps> Monkey! Love it, love it, love it! <laughs> Can't! Quite! Ugh. Oh, rats! Hey, we'll try and win it for you. Yeah! Hold this for me, Mia. Here, Mia. Can you look after this? Leave this to me. Ready, Eddie, go! Double rats. May I? Sure, but nobody can ring that bell. Whoa, that is one powerful piece of pork. Hurrah! I would like the stuffed monkey, please, and thank you. <sighs> step, step right up, step, step right up. up. Expert or beginner, everyone's a winner. Hey, little girl, give it a whirl. Just loop the hoop right on the stick, and then you get the prize to pick. What can I win? A cuddly monkey? I got a much better prize. You won't believe your eyes. This is a magic wand just for you. Is that a real magic wand? Real? It can make an elephant float, then turn into a goat. Can the wand make a cuddly monkey appear? A monkey? You bet. That's easy, no sweat. Well, okay, I'll try. You have to pay to play. And the price is five balloons today. Mm, okay. Oh. I win, I win, I win! <laughs> what? Yeah! <laughs> Yay! All right. Oh, sorry.
every kid, you tossed and you lost. Separate up! Separate up! Huh? I hooped the loop just like you said. I won and I won the magic wand. Not fair, not fair! Hey, pipe down! You're scaring off my customers. Here's your wand, kid. Ooh, I can't wait to try it. Well, there's no guarantees, warranties, or refunds. In other words, no backsies. <laughs> chickity doo, chickity dee. Turn into a donkey for me. <laughs> Flippity floppity, flowery flower. Turn into a great big tower. Okay, Wand, this is your last chance. I don't want a flower or even a donkey. I really want a big, cuddly monkey. <laughs> or a little cuddly monkey. <gasps> that fox! This wand is a dud! <laughs> oh, my! <clears throat> oh, Prince Piggington! I bet you would love to trade that monkey for something magical. Look, just for you. Is that a real magic wand? Sure, it made an elephant float. Hmm, yes, let's trade. Yes, I mean, good thinking, Prince. There. Wow! Cool! Roar some! Did you win it? Kinda. I traded it with Prince Pinkington for a magic wand. You traded a real magic wand? Well, not exactly. It was kind of a fake. And Prince Pinkington still traded? I might have told him it was real. Mia, that's not really right. But the fox told me it was real when it wasn't. But remember what you told Eddie when he ruined your puppet show? How would you feel if someone did that to you? Oh. And how did you feel when the fox tricked you? Pretty bad. And what about Prince Piggington when he finds out you tricked him? Pretty bad, too. Guess I'm gonna have to give you back to the prince. I'll miss you. Hey, Mia. What happened to our balloons? Hmm. Um, Prince? I'm really sorry I talked you into trading your monkey for the wand. I accept your apology, but I do not understand why you are apologizing. The wand's a fake, a phony, a dud. I find it works quite well, actually. <laughs> Magic! I shall return it to you, as that is the polite thing to do. Thank you, but it belongs to you now. That is very nice. Is there something I can do for you in return? Maybe balloons for my friends? Whoa! Wow. That's amazing. What? Give me my wand back! That's mine! No guarantees, warranties, or refunds. In other words, no backseats. Come back here, you. It's mine. Hey! <laughs> I hope Mr. Fox learned his lesson. It's always better to be nice. That sounds like a song. Two, three, four. Do nice things for others. I should like them done for you. Make somebody smile, and you get a nice smile too. Do nice things for others, and pretty soon you'll learn. Grateful friends will do you some nice things in return. It's a two-way street when you try to get along. So think about how others feel, and you can't go wrong. Just once or twice Be warm and kind to the folks
Lucky, you're gonna love Littleville. It's the best place to live. <sighs> or take a nap. Good day, Sophie. Good day to you, Mia. Taking Mr. Papa for a stroll, I see. Yes, and he's been very well behaved. Hello, ladies of Littleville. What are you doing on this fine day, Eddie? I was just about to make a mud pie. Did someone say pie? Hmm, I love pie. See, Lucky, Littleville is the nicest, friendliest little town in the entire world. Beep, beep. I'm just coming home after a hard day at work. Hessa, follow the directions. The road goes around Littleville, not through it. No problem. I'm driving Tessa style. <laughs> Look out! Woohoo! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Tessa, watch out! Beep, beep. Ah! <sighs> that was so cool! Oops. Oh, rats. You broke Littleville. I'm sorry. I'll fix it. We'll all help. But first, let's play obstacle course. We can run around here, and then we can jump over this. That looks like fun. Let's find a real obstacle course. Where are we going to do that? What about the jungle? It has lots of stuff to jump over and crawl through. Yes, a jungle obstacle course. We'll have a race. And I'll win. Let's go! We'll fix Littleville later. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Sing this song. Sing this song. We sing this song. Hey, hey, we bought an adventure. Guys. Welcome to the official jungle obstacle course. You've all chosen your teammates? Hmm? Yay! We've got our team. All right. <laughs> oh, teammate. Great idea. Got any dinosaurs? Let me check. No. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm Emmett, and I'm winning today. Whoa. Hey, Emmett. I'm Eddie, and I'm ready to win. Want to be my teammate? Deal. Yes! Ahem. <clears throat> Attention, racers. Oh, yeah. All eyes here. Listen carefully. Everyone has to follow the arrows. Give me five. All right. Follow the arrows. We're so gonna win this. Oh, yeah. Follow the... Hey, Eddie. Arrows. That's not fair. We got a head start. Let the official jungle obstacle course race begin. 
Say this way. Here we go. Gonna win this. Emmett, look out! Whoa! <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, this way. This is fun. They're getting ahead of us. Follow me this time. Let's go that way. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, Emmett. Go, go, go. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> Huh? Everybody, go this way! I don't get it. We're faster and stronger. What are we doing wrong? Okay, this time, follow me. No, follow me. I said follow me. <sighs> this is fun. Come on, guys, this way. Here's a red arrow. They're going to win. We need a shortcut. That way, through the log. Eddie, I'm stuck. <laughs> Get me out of here. <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> <clears throat> Put more elephant into it. Did we win? Win? No, no, no. That's the finish line over there. And this is the starting line. You mean we're right back where we started? Precisely. Maybe next time you'll follow the arrows, hmm? Huh? Come on, Emmett. Let's start over and try again. And this time, follow the arrows. Yeah, if we'd followed the arrows the first time, we would have won for sure. True, true, so very true. And for that reason, I present you both an award for most improved team. Congratulations. Hooray! Congratulations! Give me five. <laughs> Way to go, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, everyone, just follow my directions. Eddie, you put your box over there. Mia, that box goes on top of Kobe's. Tessa, now put your box on top. 
just a little that way. That's perfect. Our little bill house looks even better than before. Hey, I bet it'll look even better if we knock it down one more time and build it all over again. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Who turned out the light? Coming to you from our own backyard stage, which was built by magical unicorns. Okay, I just made that up. It's the big show! Let's welcome our hosts, Eddie and Sophie! Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Let's hear it for Ziggy Wigglebottom and the Wigglebottom Band! We've all been working hard to put together a great show. Songs and jokes, and Mia's fairy tale theater. But now, adventure! A trip to the jungle, always full of fun and surprises. So let's get this rocking. Ziggy, make that music. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. One more time, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an it. Tessa, we're trying to sing a song. I'm bored. Bored? But you were having such a good time helping me out with the wardrobe. Finish that. And the props. You loved Did it. Bored, 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 bored. There's nothing to do. There's lots to do, if you know where to look. Have a seat and check out this very not boring song. <sighs> Ziggy, one more time. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. We sing this song. Hey, hey, we bought an adventure. And we're extra so excited. So here we go. Well, I guess I don't have anything else to do. Thanks, Mia. Bye-bye. Have fun. How can anyone be bored in the jungle? Don't know. Still am. We could go on a safari and see all the amazing jungle animals. Yeah, like dinosaurs. <sighs> Boring. Well, what have we found? Uh, a sloth! A sloth? <sighs> he seems even more bored than I am. Maybe we can unbore him. Mr. Sloth, want to do something fun? <sighs> okay. I know. How about a nature hike? We can look at all the wonderful wonders of nature. Sky. Round. Sloth. That was nice. I'm done with nature. He's still bored. Got any other ideas? Hey, I know something everyone gets excited about. <laughs> Slothy. Okay. You'll love this. Ready, Eddie, go! Woohoo! That was awesome, right? No. 
not fun. Feel better? Yes. Still bored, though. I know what you mean. Hey, when I'm bored, you know what helps? A little exercise. Exer what? One, two, three, four, jump and then you jump some more. Five, six, seven, eight, doesn't that just feel so great? Yeah. <gasps> no. I'm beat. But you hardly even move. Don't you ever think about doing exciting stuff? Don't you dream about... Dream? You mean like sleep? No, dream like use your imagination. Imagine what now? You've never heard of imagination? No wonder you're bored. When you're feeling like there's nothing left to do And you're staring at the wall And it's staring back at you You've got the bottom blues You can cure them if you find Helping Mr. Sloth totally made me not bored. Well, I hope I helped. Hmm, the moon. He doesn't sound bored to me. The moon. Imagination is fun! It's like when me. Once upon a long time ago, in a very enchanted place, kind of like here, there was an evil witch. Sophie. Ooh, witchy witchiness. The mean, evil witch locked away a beautiful princess in the tall tower of total boredom, where the princess was totally bored. I was bored, but I'm not bored now. Look, I made an airplane. Hey, you're supposed to be a bored princess. Okay, but I can't be bored. This is a really fun tree house. It's supposed to be a tower. So, uh, anyway, a handsome prince came to save the princess. I am a handsome prince. Now you tell the princess to let down her long hair so you can climb up and... Not the ladder, her hair! See my airplane? Cool! This isn't boring, it's fun! <sighs> <sighs> and they lived happily ever after. Witchy witchiness! With the witch! I made an airplane too! Yay! Not bored, in the treehouse, with the ladder, the end. Witchy witchiness. What a show! We went to the jungle, we met a sloth. I tried to tell a fairy tale. And you did! Wasn't it so fun to make up a new ending? I guess so. It wasn't boring, that's for sure. Totally not boring. Remember. When you're feeling like there's nothing left to do And you're staring at the wall And staring back at you You ain't got the bored and blues But you can cure them if you find The magic in your mind The, the magic, magic called imagination Good 
ready for the greatest show on Earth, the galaxy, the entire universe. Okay, just the neighborhood. Here are our hosts, Eddie and Sophie. Thank, thank you, thank you. you. One and all, please hold your applause. Okay, let's get started. Drum roll, please. Ladies and gentlemen, dogs and toys. It's time for... <laughs> Mia's Fairy Tale Theater. Ta-da! Uh, Mia, it's not time for your fairy tale yet. But I've been practicing. I don't want to wait anymore. It's time for our adventure. Your fairy tale comes later. You'll have to wait your turn. Oh, rat. Hit it, Ziggy! Hey, Ta -da! Did someone say Mia? No, I said Ziggy. Mia, we're going on a pirate adventure to find a sea monster. Oh, double rats. Take it away, Ziggy! Hey, Here's the fairy tale princess. Fairy tales are lots of fun. <sighs> One more time, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Once upon a time, there was a... <gasps> hey! Yo ho ho, on the deep blue sea, there's nowhere else I'd rather be. Arr! Ahoy there, Tessa! Ahoy, Sophie! Ahoy, Mia! <laughs> Ooh, nice pirate ship. <laughs> Avast, ye piratey crew. Avast, Captain Eddie. Arr, mateys. You ready for a pirate adventure? We are. Set the course and keep your eyes peeled for any sea monsters. Or dinosaurs. Pirate Lunch Ahoy! Are ye hungry? We are! <laughs> Mia, no budding in line! But you didn't let me go first with my fairy tale. That doesn't mean you can cut in line for food. But I'm a very hungry princess, and princesses always go first. Excuse me. Sorry. Hey, I was first. Whoa, awesome. I mean, shiver me, Timbers. It's a sea monster. That's not a sea monster. It's an octopus. Octopuses make the best pirate pets ever. Thanks. Pardon, excuse me. Arr, can you stay on board, Captain? Welcome to the crew, Octo Pirates. Yum. I guess we can forget lunch. Make speed, me hearties. Ooh, 
nice view. <sighs> First mate on the double. Aye, aye, Captain. Excuse me. I'll be first mate. Let me go first. Me first. Me first. I got her first. Pardon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon. Hey, wait a minute. I'm the captain. <laughs> 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 Always wanted to steer a pirate ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That pushy octopus is trying to take over our ship. Oh, he's such a buttonski. That octopus thinks he always has to go first. Everything is all about him. We have to do something. I've got an idea. <laughs> Ta-da! Who wants to hear a story called The Princess and the Octopus? Excuse me, don't you mean the octopus and the princess? Oh, okay. <clears throat> I've got the perfect costume, so I'll be the princess. But who, who could be the octopus? Oh, me! Oh, me! <laughs> Excuse me, me! Why is Mia doing her fairy tale now? Once upon a time, there was a fairy princess. The fairy princess was very impatient, and she always liked to be first. She didn't mean to be pushy. She just got super excited, and... <clears throat> Excuse me, where's the octopus? But then, an even pushier octopus pushed the princess and her friends so far that the princess turned to the octopus and said... Once upon a pirate ship, the princess found her thirst. So she went to get some water. Of course she got some first. Excuse me. <laughs> You're so good at playing the pushy octopus. Have you heard this song before? Join the chorus. Me first, me first, me, 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 me first. first. The princess and the octopus did a play they had rehearsed. But who would get the opening line? Who would walk on first? Me, me first, me first, me, me. me. pushy before. But did you like my fairy tale? Like it? We loved it! You got the octopus to jump overboard, and we didn't even have to push him. Ha! Who's first now? Me, 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 I bet I can run faster than anyone. I bet you can. Last one down the slide is a rotten egg. Hmm. I got here first. Let me go first. I don't want to be a rotten egg. Yes, I'm first. Hey, Mia, you waited your turn. I think you should go first. Thank you, Eddie. A princess should be sparkling because she is the worst. Friends that learn to wait your turn, they will After you. <laughs> and now, coming to you from our own back. 
backyard stage, which landed here from outer space. Okay, not really, but it's fun to pretend. Welcome to the big show! With your hosts, Eddie and Sophie! Thank you, thank, thank you. you! You guys are a great audience. Let's hear it for Ziggy Wigglebottom and the Wigglebottom Band! Awesome music, Kobe! I'm not Kobe, I'm Ziggy. Uh, I mean... I'm Ziggy! And Ziggy Digga Doo means back to you! Thanks, Zig. We have a great show for you today. Adventure, songs, jokes, and... Our first act... The Junk Jugglers! Here, Kobe! Whoops! Hey, come back here! Uh, thank you, Junk Jugglers! <laughs> You should try to work together. We were supposed to work together, but then I got really busy and... Me too. I was, um, the same as Kobe. Uh, like they said. What would happen to our show if we didn't all work together? If we don't work like a team, there's no show. So, team, ready for our adventure? Uh-huh. Yeah. Guess so. we're entering a very special talent contest in the jungle. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure and you can come along. A special kind of adventure but first we sing this song. We sing this song. What have we here? Visitors! Hmm? We're here to enter the talent contest. We really know how to put on a show. How cute. So, which one of you is talented, hmm? Well, we all kind of do different things. So you're the talented one? No, I mean, all of us are... Well, you look more talented than he does. Hey, wait a minute. Now, who looks more talented? <clears throat> On second thoughts, you look more talented than both of them. I do. Thank you. You know, I like to make up my own fairy tales. Then you should do that. And what should you do? Hmm? I like dancing. Maybe you're the talented one. I can dance and sing and everything else. Then let's enter you in the contest and see who's the most talented. Okay, I'm Eddie and ready to win. Eddie, who else wants to enter? Hmm? If Eddie's going to enter on his own, so am I. Sophie, my name's Sophie. Uh, Sophie, you weren't we supposed to do this together? Mia, write me down. I'm gonna win. Tessa, can you believe... Tessa. T-E-S-S-A. When I dance, no one else has a chance. What about you? What's your name, hmm? Kobe, but... No, I... You'd better get rehearsing. Hey, you guys! Wait! <laughs> I do so love messing with out-of-towners. Ready to 
and I'm great. I'm better than pancakes and pizza on a plate. I'm definitely going to win this contest. When I play, they'll shout, hooray! I'm the one who's going to win today. Got the Tessa moves, got the Tessa grooves. And when I move, it proves. I'm the winner, no beginner. Once upon a fairy tale, there was a superhero princess who won every contest. And she's going to win this contest, too. <sighs> Attention, jungle! The talent contest will now begin! I'm ready to win! Oh, are you now? Well, you'll just have to wait your turn. First, the Elephantasia! Wow! Beautiful! I give them one star. And now, it's Birdapalooza! <laughs> Fly! Fly! They get two stars. Next, some monkey business. Simply magical. Three gold stars. They're pretty good. I don't even think I could beat them. I don't feel like dancing anymore. I'm not getting up there and telling a story by myself. Hey! Tessa, remember that time you felt bad because you fell into that mud puddle? We all jumped in with you, together. Mia, remember when you couldn't finish that super huge banana split? <laughs> we all ate it together. Eddie, it's like you said, if we don't work like a team, there's no show. You let that peacock make you work against each other. We came here as a team because we are a team. It doesn't matter if we win or lose. It's how we play the, the, the whatever we play together. Right, Kobe? We are a team. Yeah. Let's do what Kobe said. Really? Wow. And next we have an Eddie. Wait, there's been a change. A change? What kind of change? We're performing together. We're a team. Huh. Fine. Go ahead. As if you have the talent to win. Where did they come from? We're the best friends you've ever seen. Show us what a little teamwork can do. They say they've been practicing together. Welcome back, the Jump Jugglers!
smart and stuff. Mm. What are toes for? I, uh, uh, a place to keep your toenails? Why is water wet? How else are you gonna jump in puddles? I've really gotta go to the... Uh... That's not why water is wet. Why is water wet? Why is anything wet? I'll tell you later, but I really, really have to go to the... But why is... Mia, I think what Kobe is trying to say is... I've gotta go to the bathroom! Why didn't Kobe just say so? I think he was saying it, but like this. Oh! oh. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. You gave me an idea for a new game. I did? Cool. Um, why do dogs act like dogs? Why do cows act like cows? Why do pigs act like pigs? Maybe we should go ask a pig. How about King Pigalot? King Pigalot, who lives in Pigalot Palace? Great idea! Let's go! Yeah! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. Pigs act like pigs. Why do pigs act like pigs? Why do pigs act like pigs? Hmm. I don't know. But you are a pig. I am. Oh, yes. Yes, I suppose I am. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Well, thank you. <laughs> but my son doesn't seem to think so. He hardly ever smiles. He seems so unhappy. Why? I don't know. Maybe you can figure it out. Would you like to meet him? Sure, why not? Yeah, that would be nice. Summoning Prince Piggington Pig. Prince. Hey! Hello! Um, want to play or something? <sighs> uh, how about a picnic? Splendid! Why don't you join your new friends for a royal picnic? Fetch the royal picnic basket. So, keep the prince royally neat and clean, as that is the royal way. <sighs> and don't forget, See if you can figure out why he never smiles. He's such a... Uh, stick in the mud? Yes, sir. Uh, what's a stick in the mud? It means someone who doesn't have fun. Well, yes, of course. I knew that. I was just making sure you did. <clears throat> so, please have fun. And should things get untidy... Blow this royal pig whistle, and I will come to help set things royally right. <clears throat> okay, then. Enjoy the day. Would you please politely pass the royal sandwiches, please? Yes, it would be my pleasure. Uh, Prince Piggington, would you like to enjoy a sandwich? Mm, thank you very much. He's very polite for a pig. <laughs> Should I blow the whistle and call King pig -a -lot? Don't bother the king. We can clean up Prince Piggington. And besides, he sounds kind of happy. Quite nice. Thank you. What next? So the way we play the game is I start a story, then we go around in a circle, and everyone adds to the story. Great! Sure. So once upon a time, there was a prince. 
And he had, hmm, a magic crown. And when the prince stood on his head, the magic crown would make the prince spin around really fast. Your turn, prince. And so, that is exactly what the prince did. Huh? Oh! <laughs> for a royal sack race, Tessa style. We each climb into a sack and race to a finish line. <gasps> <laughs> oh, rats. The prince is making a mess. Again. I'm going to blow the whistle so the king can come and clean him up. No, Tessa, wait. Remember the king asked us to find out why the prince never smiles? Look at him now. Oh! <laughs> He's as happy as a pig in the mud. Right. Piggington might be a prince, but he's also a little kid pig. If we think like a pig, I bet we can figure out what makes him happy. If I was a pig, all I'd want to do is roll around in the mud and make a big mess. Exactly. And where is the best place for that? The farm! <laughs> Piglet let the prince act like a pig. I guess he's been a king so long, he forgot how to have pig fun. The king should really see this. Whew, that was fast. Is the prince okay? Remember you asked why he never smiles? Oh, yes, indeed. Like I always say, he's a stick in the mud. He's not a stick in the mud. He's a pig in the mud. <laughs> but... But, but, that's no way for a prince to behave. He might be a prince, but he is a pig prince. And pigs like mud. We figured that out by thinking like him. Hmm, thinking like someone else. Would a cow be happy growing cock-a-doodle-doo? Or working in a store selling shampoo? No, a cow is happy to make milk and moo. A cow's gotta do what a cow's gotta do. Would a chicken be happy to quack like a duck? Or trying to drive a great big truck? No, chickens like strutting and that is true. A chick's gotta do what a chick's gotta do. So if I think like a horse, ooh, ooh, ooh. what would I say? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, I'd say, hey, tastes way okay. And if I think like a pig, ooh, ooh, ooh. which I recall once having done, ooh, ooh, I'd say, here I come, son, let's have two tons of fun. <laughs> yes. So if you want to be a good friend to your friend... Oh, dad to a son, here's what I recommend. Take a good look from his point of view. Cause, Cause we've, we've got, got to, to do, do what we've, we've got, got to, to do. do. <laughs> Yay! 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 You go. Now that's thinking like a pig. Eddie gave me the idea for the game when he was jumping around pretending he had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> All you have to do is pretend you're silly or happy or angry or anything you want. I'll start. Woo, yeah! Oh boy, I'm just so, wow! This is woo-hoo! You feel excited. Yes, excited! My turn. Ta-da! Happy? You feel happy? Are you happy? Yes, and I really am happy because we figured out how to make Prince Piggington happy. And we did it by thinking like him. If you want to be a good friend to your friend and make your friend happy, here's what I recommend. Think, what's he feeling? Like play and pretend And now's a good time to say it's the end <laughs> Help! Help! Save me! The dragon's coming and it's gonna eat me for lunch! 
lunch. Don't worry, Kobe. I'll save you. Achoo! Takes more than a fire breathing, Kobe eating dragon to scare away Princess Mia. Here I come. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? We're playing dragons, and it wants to eat me for lunch, <laughs> like in the book. Someone was reading the story? We're making it up from the pictures. We're not sure how to read. <laughs> but look, Sophie's reading. Well, I. Sophie. You know how to read? That's super cool. What happens next? Does Sir Ready Yeti save the day? Read it to us. Come on, Sophie. Oh, okay. Er, the dragon ro ro the dragon roared. Then what? Um, the dragon roared. A big, big roar. A huge roar. The biggest, hugest roar ever roared. Great. And then? And then the dragon jumped over the moon on a polka dot pogo stick. A polka dot pogo stick? What happens next? Next? Well, uh, the, um, I have an idea. Let's go on our own dragon adventure. With a castle? And a king? Oh, yeah. All that stuff. Yeah! Let's go! Great idea! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this gonna be fun. Dragon! Here, dragon, dragon, dragon! Come and get your favorite lunch! A freshly baked Kobe cake. Hey! I thought you were a big, scary dragon. <sighs> Every time I go near my castle, he roars at me. We're looking for a dragon. Excellent. And when you find the dragon, you can scare him away. Wait, you want us to scare away the dragon? <clears throat> Just do what it says in this book. Everything you need to know about scaring dragons is right in here. While you're busy scaring away the dragon, I'll be hiding in this tree. I mean, um, keeping a royal lookout. <laughs> yes. Sophie, start reading. Yes. Please enjoy reading and scaring. <laughs> so what does the book say? Let me see. Yes, it says here that er, dragons are afraid of... Spiders! Dragons scared of spiders? Well, if you read it in the book, it must be true. It's dragon scaring time! <gasps> Here he comes! Ah! 
Aye, it's a wee spider. Are you trying to scare me, wee spider? Because a spider isn't going to frighten a big, scary dragon like me! Rawr! Looks like dragon scaring time just turned into Eddie scaring time. <laughs> but the book said dragons were scared of spiders. Uh, well, sometimes a dragon isn't scared of spiders. The meanie McGreeny dragon is scared of, um, er, uh, runny noses and, uh, achoo! Sneezing! Runny noses and sneezing? Since when has that been scary? Says it right here. Well, if you read it in the book, it must be true. I guess. <laughs> Kobe Super Runny Nose and Sneezing Powder. My own special mixture of pepper, feathers, and royal pig hair. Easy peasy, dragon sneezy. Okay, get ready to blow the powder. One, two, three. <gasps> <laughs> ah, that's better. Nothing like a good sneeze to clean the pipes. Ha 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 choo choo Are you sure you're reading the right instructions? Oh rats! Look! Ah. Ah. <laughs> I really am going to be a Kobe cake. What do we do now, Sophie? Yeah. What does the book say? Rawr! Rawr! I don't know what the book says. I never did. I don't know how to read. Just a couple of words, but that's it. <sighs> Why'd you tell us you could? You were all so happy that I could read and I got carried away. And then I didn't want to let you down. I didn't mean to trick you. I'm sorry. You're not the only one who's sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Giraffe? I did not see that coming. I didn't mean to scare you. I just wanted to protect King Pigalot's castle. But he keeps running away, squealing like a frightened pig. That's because dragons are really scary. All I wanted to do was to impress the king. And there's nothing impressive about giraffes. But look how tall you are. That's impressive. And I'm impressed with you, Lassie. Telling the truth to your friends like that made me realize it's better to tell the truth than to pretend to be something you're not. Help! Help! King Pigalon? Oh. <laughs> yes! Can someone help me, please? Hmm. I haven't read this anywhere, but I bet this is a job for a giraffe. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you. I hereby name this giraffe the new King's Royal Reacher Upper to high places. <laughs> Go giraffe! All right! Oh, and by the way, we got rid of that dragon for you. Actually, he did. You? Bravo! Let me tell you all about it. Bye, so long. Bye. Guys, want to hear a story? But you can't read. Not yet, but I'm learning. And one day, I'm going to write my very own story. What's it going to be about? Well, that's what I was going to tell you. Once upon a time, there was a king in a faraway land who had a very good friend, a giraffe. <laughs> What's the... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
You can't tag me, octopus. I'll tag you both with my octopus arms, my fine little fishies. Come swim past me, if you can. Gotcha. My turn. I want to be the octopus. I tagged you both, so I get to choose. And I choose me. Octopus tag, yay! Can't catch this fish, octopus. <laughs> Come on, Kobe, octopus tag. Can't, I'm trying to fix the music. Don't fix it, make it louder. <laughs> We outran the octopus. Gotcha. No one outruns the octopus. Now swim along, little fishies. One, two. When do three, I get to be the four. octopus? In a minute. One, two. I bet it would be more fun three, if we all played against an four, octopus. Five, hey, why don't we play six, octopus tag with the real seven, octopus? Eight, yeah, that would be awesome. Ten. Fixed it. Just in time. We're going on an adventure to find a real octopus to play tag with. Hit it, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this fix this thing again. You guys go without me. You sure, Kobe? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, well, and everyone invited! <laughs> Ahoy! Any sign of a friendly octopus? on a big blinking sign. He's pointing that way. Oh, oh, can I see? In a minute. Is it a minute yet? Another sign, ooh! Now the octopus is playing with the ball. Tessa, it's been like a million minutes. When can I see? In a minute. Sophie, Tessa's totally hogging the telescope. The octopus looks super fun. Can we see? In a minute. Oh, rats. I'll never get a turn. It's another octopus sign. A really big one. And he's waving. And he's pointing at an island. And it's got the coolest looking playground ever. Can, Can we see? In a minute. Double rats. Gym. Cool! Oh boy, a seesaw! Hooray! Beach ball! Or some mateys! Visitors! Excellent! Hello! Wow! Hi, oh, hi! Hi! Welcome to Octofun Island! <gasps> Shall we have Octofun? Yes! Let's! How about octopus tag? I'll be. Great! Yes! Octopus tag! I'll be the octopus! One, two, three, go! <laughs> I win! I win! <laughs> Can I be the octopus now? In a minute! First, one, two, three, go! <gasps> I win again! I win again! I think it's time for a new game. 
I win! But we're not playing tag anymore. Oops, right, so sorry. When's our turn? In a minute. Do, 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 do. Yeah. In a minute. Where have I heard that before? Here it comes. <laughs> I got it. It's mine. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Pardon. Hey, can we finish our game? In a minute. Always in a minute. In a minute. In a... Oh. That does sound kind of familiar. Uh-huh. Like me, playing octopus tag. Uh-huh. And when I wouldn't share the telescope. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, guys. And I'm going to make it up to you. You invite new friends to visit and tell them, hey, let's play. So you show them all your really cool stuff, but then take it away and say... In a minute, you can play with my stuff in a minute. But that minute's never through, and it's only fun for you. What's the word? Shellfish? No! Selfish! Yes, right. Selfish! Terribly sorry. I should work on that. In a minute. <laughs> we oh. yeah. oh. we'll try to help him, Tessa. Well, maybe one day he'll learn to share. Just like I did. Hey, who wants the telescope? I do. I want the telescope. I want to go next. Kobe. So, did you get the band working? No, not yet. Greetings, excellent Earthlings. Hello, strange alien person creature with two heads. We were drawn to your planet by your beautiful music. You like this weird music? It is our favorite song from home. We like to sing it. Together, shall we? Bleep, bloop, bleepa, bloop, bleep, bleep, bloop, bleepa, bloopa, bloop, bleep, bloop, bleep, 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 bleep. Thank you, thank you very much. <sighs> Did you not enjoy our performance, magical maker of beautiful music? Sorry. Yeah, it was great. It's just, I've been trying to fix this, but. I need one more piece of wire. Since you have shared your music with us, we will share part of us with you. Please take wire connecting our brains. Gosh, thanks. Back 
graveyard stage, I command you to be silent. Excellent. You are the best subjects, and I am the best ruler. I'm the best ruler, the king, king of swing. Swing me higher, swings. No one rules better than me. I do. I'm the queen of the sandbox. I command the sand. Obey me, sand. Good sand. No sand queen can stand up to me. I rule the treehouse, and from way up here, I can rule the whole backyard. I'm the queen of everything. I rule the backyard. I rule the backyard. I'm a better ruler than you are. Nuh-uh. I'm the best ruler. I'm a better ruler than you. I think I'm a pretty good leader. I already lead the band. Okay, so who's the best ruler? Why don't we go ask someone who knows all about being a ruler? You mean me? No, I mean the queen of Jungle Land. Let's go to Jungle Land and find out. Great idea. I love the jungle. Okay, but she'll pick me. I have a tiara. It's time for another adventure. Hit it, Ziggy. Two, three, four. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. We came here to ask, which one of us would make the best ruler? I think I'd be good. I'd be great. I think I'd be best. I'm a leader. <laughs> my, my. You are all so excited, I can't decide who to choose. I'll tell you what. I'm going to visit some friends. Why don't I leave you here and let you figure out how to best rule Jungle Land while I'm gone? Uh, all okay. right. All right. I'm glad that's settled. Well then, goodbye. So long. long. Bye. See you soon. Goodbye. Uh, uh, I could use a little help here. I should be the leader. No, I should be the leader. I'm brave and I'm ready to be King Eddie with courage and command. None would rule above me, the creatures would love me, the Queen of Jungle Land. This queen is surprising with her exercising. I love the feel of fitness. Well, I know how to win. Biggie, Kings, Kobe, and Ziggy, an extra king on hand. I'd be double daring. I'd be extra caring. Fitness I'd be sharing. A crown I'd be wearing if I ruled Jungle Land. I should be the leader. You can't be no, queen. I should be king. I should be, should king. be me. Can't be king. <laughs> What is that? Maybe it's a dinosaur. <laughs> you should be the ruler. You'd be much better than I would. You should be the ruler. I vote for you. <laughs> Yes. 
scary. And huge! And loud! And dino humongous! Maybe we can scare it away. But it's a big monster and we're too little. We could build something bigger. And louder. And scarier! Listen, you guys. I have an idea. Okay, here's what we do. Eddie, you go. the monster away. Won't it? It has to, right, Sophie? We just have to stick together and be as scary and big as we can. <laughs> and laugh. Oh, I'm fine, but my froggy friends are sure frightened. That was a pretty scary puppet show. We thought a big monster got you, and we were trying to scare it away. My, my, that was quite brave of you, of all of you. Oh, it was nothing. We're, you know, brave and stuff. We were really scared. Yeah, that too. But what was that sound? I was teaching the frogs my favorite jungle song. I learned it when I was just a wee little teeny tiny tortoise. One, two. Boo-ha, boo-ha, boo-ha. Isn't it a lovely song? I didn't used to like it, but now it's my favorite song ever. So, for working together, and for having the courage to face an unknown fear, I pronounce you all together, Jungle Land rulers for a day! Hooray! Boo-ha! 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 Welcome to Kobe Presents Jammin' with the Wigglebottom Band. Hooray! Oh, yeah! Go Ziggy! The band will now perform that favorite song, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Ziggy digga one, Ziggy digga two. Get it going, Amp, you know what to do. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, hip hop, go play that guitar. <laughs> this is fun. Let's dance. Yeah, <laughs> let's dance. I'm gonna dance Tessa style. That's some twinkling starry strumming. Burly, get those drums a drumming. Yeah, cool. Stars are twinkling way up high like diamonds shining in the sky. Burly, stick to the beat. Burly, my drum beaten bear, that was wild, but it wasn't fair. You can make those drum skins scream, but our band plays as a team. Two, three, four! Sounds good, guys! Go Ziggy! Now's a good time for a standing ovation. We're a doing it together celebration. for first place in a spelling contest. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, this is 
one of my favorites. I got this trophy for being the strongest kid in my class. No, wait. Oh, right. Sorry. This one was a trophy for doing the best handstand. I always get those two awards mixed up. I wish I had a trophy. Oh, don't worry, Mia. Maybe when you get a little bigger, you'll win an award for... for... for something. Thank you. Thank you all for this award. Um, Mia? My trophy? Oh, right. Oh, rats. I wish I could win something. Well, you're just in time for the county fair down on the farm. Eddie, Kobe, are you ready? It's time for another adventure. I'll go get the wagon. Hit it, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. County Fair has so much cool stuff to see and do. And there's lots of ways to win ribbons and trophies. I'm going to teach these chickens to sing and enter the singing chicken contest. Here, chicky, chicky, chicky. <laughs> I'm going to make the best pie ever and win the pie making award. What about you, Kobe? Hmm. I think I might use that old wagon wheel and. Invent an automatic hoof polishing machine. <laughs> Mia, have you decided what you want to do for the county fair? Are you going to make something? Well, I... I'll just... Ah! Oops. Find something to do with this hook. Hmm. Maybe Tessa will know how to fix this birdhouse. I think she won an award for making birdhouses. No! I can do it all by myself. Here I go, fixing the birdhouse. Making it the biggest, bestest, winningest, uh, award winner. Okay. Well, that just leaves me. <laughs> Good thinking, Mr. Horse. I'll be the judge. I don't need anyone's help. I'm just as good at fixing stuff as they are. Whoa! Well, hey there, Missy. My name's Andy. Hello. My name's Mia. Welcome to my workshop, Mia. Have a seat. That's beautiful. Thank you, Andy. Well, look at there. You're a woodworker, too. Looks like quite a project. It used to be a birdhouse, but I don't know how to fix it or make a new one. Birdhouse? Hmm. Mind if I give it a try? That solve your birdhouse problem? I, uh... I know. It's still a little rough around the edges. No. I mean, it's... Wow. Just a little gift from one carpenter to another. Mmm. Good pie, Tessa. Come on. Sing with me. La, la, la. Mia, that is awesome! Double awesome! I, uh, yeah, well, I guess it is. 
I had no idea you could do this, Mia. Uh, neither did I. Whoa, Mia! It's like a bird palace. It's still a little rough around the edges. Mia, since you're so good at making stuff, maybe you can make me a new go-kart. Oh, well, I... Ooh, you can make us all go-karts! Yeah! yeah. Hmm. And now they all want me to make them new go-karts. I just wanted to show them that I was good at something. Sounds like you didn't happen to mention that you didn't make the birdhouse. I was going to tell them, but they said it was amazing. And I won an award so badly. Well, I think I understand. Reminds me of a little song my daddy sang to me when I still had my baby teeth. Don't compare yourself to others, just compare yourself to you. Finding what you're good at's what you got to do. So first you stop by trying, and then when you are through, don't compare yourself to others, just compare yourself to you. Don't go fretting if someone else knows just what to do. Don't compare yourself to others, just compare yourself to you. Don't compare yourself to others, just compare yourself to you. Just compare yourself to you. Don't compare yourself to others. Just compare yourself to you. Do 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 do. So you made this birdhouse? Uh huh. Sure did. And you made that birdhouse too? Uh uh. Sure didn't. Andy made that one. Who's Andy? Andy's a beaver who lives near the farm, and he makes stuff out of wood, like the fancy birdhouse. But you said that you made No, you said I made it. And I kind of liked it when you thought I did, even though I should have told the truth. But now I kind of like my birdhouse better because I made it myself. I kind of like it too. Looks like the real birdhouse experts like your house the best. That's because it is the best. Really? As the official county fair judge, I hereby award Mia this first place ribbon for the best broken birdhouse fixing. Thank you. Thank you all for this award. Yay, Mia! Um, you guys, I have some awards. More awards? What'd you win them for? Oh, I didn't win them. I made them for you guys. And the winner of the Yeti Award is... Eddie! For being the best Eddie I know. Wow! Thank you, Mia. And this one's for you, Sophie. Because you're so... So... Well, you're just the Sophiest. Aw, thanks, Mia. And this is the Kobe Award. For you, Kobe. Uh, it's just a block of wood. I left it plain because I know you'll invent it into something amazing. This is the Special Tessa Award for Best Ice Skater. But I don't know how to ice skate. Yeah, but if you did ice skate, you'd be good enough to win this award. Wow, Mia, thank you so much. And one more award. This award is for all of us, for being the best friend ever. But I think I'll keep this one. <laughs> hey, everybody! 
Welcome to the first ever Backyard Egg Extravaganza. Team one, Eddie and Mia. Yes. Team two, Tessa and Kobe. Okay, you know the rules. Partners pass the egg to each other, and the first team to get its egg over the finish line without breaking it wins. Let's go, Sophie. This egg wants to get rolling. Eggs ready. Eggs set. Eggs go! Go, Tessa! Come on, Eddie. Oh, yeah! Yippee! Yeah! Yay! <laughs> Eddie slides into the lead. But Tessa and Kobe are gaining on them. Come on, toss it! Toss it! Go, Eddie! Tessa's ahead by nose. This is so exciting! Go, Tessa! Come on, Eddie, you can do it! Come on! What good's a race without a winner? Rematch! But with race cars! <laughs> race cars! Yes! We can race on a big track! I'm in! Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> I can't wait to race! Hit it, Ziggy! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure! You can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. to the really rather royal road race. Ripping, rousing, absolutely riveting. Dad. Sorry, son. Continue. The race will begin here and finish there at Pigalot Palace. Where the victory celebration will be held in a royally dignified manner. No light cheering will be permitted. Like this. Ra, ra, ra. There's the starting flag! Woohoo! Dad! You said I could start the race! Steady Eddie gets a head start and leaves him in the dust! Go, Eddie! The kid's a born winner! You said it! Wait, who said it? Eyes on the road, Ace! You want to win this thing, right? I love winning! And you do anything to win? Anything. Oh. Are you sure, Ace? A oh. zillion percent! Okay, leave it to me. Think of me as your good luck job. Quick, take this dirt road here. Uh. Okay. <laughs> oh no! I'm stuck in the mud! <laughs> and he rounds the curve like a pro! No one can catch up to him!
good luck charm. What are you doing? Helping you win, champ. Nobody can drive on banana peels. But that's not very fair. No, but now you're way out in front. I guess I am. I stopped all the other racers, too. All of them? Yep. But isn't that really unfair? Who cares about fair? You're going to win. But that's... And winning is the best, right? Well, I do love winning. It's great! Better than great. But what about my friends? Hey, you said that you'd do anything, right? Winning is the best. But cheating is the worst. Whoa, whoa. What are you doing? The right thing. Whoa, whoa. I could be your good luck charm. Oh. I'll help you, Kobe. Mm. Here, Mia. Got it. Thanks. There you go, Tessa. Thanks. I, King Pigalot, pronounce you, Sophie, the winner of the really rather royal road race. Yay! Hooray for Sophie! Yay! Hooray for Sophie! Hooray for Sophie! Aw, thank you. But I couldn't have won without Eddie's help. He helped me, too. And me! That makes four of us. And because Eddie helped all of us, I think he's the real winner. Here we go, Eddie. Hooray! Yay! Congratulations, Eddie! Bravo! It's like a Mia, 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 That's me! This is the story of the tortoise in the hare, which is like a big bunny rabbit, but different. The role of the tortoise would be played by a really slow zebra because we don't have a tortoise. <sighs> so one day, the really slow zebra and the hairy bunny rabbit had a race. The bunny was so sure she was going to win that she stopped to play in the sandbox. But the zebra just kept moving along, slow and steady. So... You know, Bunny, if you get all sandy, it might slow you down. No, you're supposed to pass her, not help her. Gee, thanks, really slow zebra. Boing, boing, boing. <sighs> But then the bunny saw some swings. She was so far ahead of the really slow zebra, she decided to stop and play. So the slow and steady zebra... Need a push? Thanks! No! You know, bunny, we're having so much fun, why don't we cross the finish line together too? Great idea! No, it's not supposed to happen that way. The really slow zebra is supposed to win. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Look, it's a tie! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> so, the zebra and the bunny became best friends. And that's definitely not the story of the tortoise and the hare. You should tell us that one sometime. <sighs> The end. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.
didn't see you there. You didn't hear me either. These were supposed to be mattresses for my fairy tale, the princess in the pea. How can I be a princess who falls asleep on a pile of mattresses if the mattresses aren't piled up? I'm really sorry, Mia. I wasn't listening. Look, we can put them back again. Oh, rats. Where's the pea? I can't do the princess in the pea without a pea. The pea under the mattress is supposed to keep me awake. Wait, maybe I have one. Let me check my pockets. Cracker, dog toy, seashell. Hmm, that's strange. I'm all out of peas. Thanks anyway, Sophie. I'll keep looking. We're going to search for treasure. Want to come? You guys go without me. Are you sure, Mia? Sure, I'm sure. I'm not going anywhere until I find that pea. Okay, bye, Mia. Hmm. Two, three, four! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Just begun, yo ho ho, and a barrel of fun. Captain, something strange up ahead. Something sparkly. Sparkly? Could be treasure. Oh, wow. wow. Where are we? It looks like a sea of bottles. Sea of bottles! Ah, sea of bottles! Hey, parrots. Must be the sea of bottles. Hey. Let's see if there's a message in one of these bottles. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. <gasps> Could this be? Marks the spot, and that means treasure. What's this squiggly thing? Maybe it's a warning? A warning of what? A squirrely seashell? Some squiggly seaweed? Well, maybe we should sail around it just in case. But that'll just waste time. There's treasure waiting. Set sail, mateys. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Swirl might be a... When I open my treasure chest, I will find Marbles of a colorful kind Some are big, some are tiny Spotted and striped, round and shiny We should sail around this swirly thing Sail, sail around, around swirly, swirly thing! Act sail, sail around, around swirly thing. thing! At least you're listening to me Act. Act. Hey, Sophie! Can you look through your telescope to see if... When I open my treasure chest, I will find Beautiful shells of every kind. Clams and oysters, maybe a pearl. I'm worried about this squiggly swirl. When I open my treasure chest, I will oh. find oh. dancing shoes of every kind. Jazz and swing shoes, flamenco too. Tango shoes for the dances I do. Ballet shoes or maybe tap. I really don't like what I saw on that map. Trouble, we've got to do something. Ah, come with me! Ah, ah, that's the treasure I love the best. 
When I open my treasure chest, a vast ahoy anchors away. We treasure our treasure, treasure hooray! Guys, I could use a little help. Treasure? Okay! Treasure today! Hooray! Oh no! What is it? That's what Kobe was trying to tell us. The swirl on the map is a Whirlpool! We should have listened to you. What do we do now, Kobe? Uh, Eddie, Sophie, take the wheel. Tessa, pull that rigging. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, Captain Kobe. Kobe. Find the pea. Gotta find the pea. <laughs> what? Who? I I can't sleep. It's the pea. Huh? What is this? Eddie? It's a marble, but we can pretend it's a pea. It's perfect. Mm. Mm. <gasps> <gasps> Mia? Mm. Ta da! <laughs> and the princess and the pea lived happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> Piggy, piggy, roll around in the mud. 
<laughs> Aw, give us a little oink. <laughs> Good piggy, piggy, piggy. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Want to take a ride with Captain Eddie and co-pilot Kobe? But we're playing farm animals. Farm's no fun compared to flying. But look at our little piggy. Isn't he a little cutie pie? <laughs> Aww. See how much fun our farm animals are? Flying is funner. We're going to the airport. Zoom. 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 Oh, no, we're not. We're going to the farm. Great idea. Let's have an adventure. <laughs> Kobe and I say airport. Tessa and I say farm. It's two against two. So how are we going to decide? Mia! 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 Here I am. Mia, don't you want to go to the farm? You'd rather go to the airport, right? Uh, what? As the oldest, I say we go to the farm. It's way more fun than the airport. As the awesomest, I say the airport is way more fun than the farm. So you get the deciding vote. For the airport. Farm. Airport. Farm. Well, I, uh, they both sound, uh, why don't we think of somewhere else to go? Here's nice. But not as fun as the airport. Or the farm. How about we go on the swings? We all love the swings. See how much fun we can have right here in our own backyard? Well, I know where Kobe and I are going. Ziggy, make that music. Two, three, four. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure, and you can come along. A special kind of adventure, but first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Having more fun. Oh, yeah? Well, out fun, you! When did fun turn into a contest? Okay, Eddie, so what's the plan? We'll fly around the farm and show Sophie how much fun we're having. It's gonna be great! Time to buckle up. Ready, Eddie, go! the sky. 
fly with your face or even fly to outer space, but you won't win the funniest race, cause farmyard fun is in first place. Fun, 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 fun. We'd better get back to the airport. Sophie, you played so fast you broke your fiddle. <sighs> now this is fun, a fun Yahoo! Sailing through the bluest blue. Who needs cows? They just go moo. I'll show real flying fun to you. Fun, 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 fun. Hey! Nothing says fun like a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie thinks his fun's so fun. Thinks his fun's more fun than mine. While we can have a fun. Fun sure is hard work. to this mess in the first place? I guess we did get a little, uh, messy. Yeah, we did. I'm sorry I got carried away with all that fiddling. And I'm sorry we tried to outfun you. Wanna play in the backyard? Together? Together. Move! <laughs> Move! <laughs> Do 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 round and 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 fall to the ground. That was fun. Now it's your turn to pick out what to do. I can do that. That cloud looks like a butterfly. Oh, and that one looks like a bunny. And that one looks like Eddie. Hey guys, how was your um fun? It wasn't. Yeah, it's no fun when you're trying to outfun your friends. Well, we were having fun looking at the clouds. Doesn't that one look like a bunny? <laughs> Nah, that's a dinosaur. Or maybe it's a great big bat. No way! That's a hippopotamus! I think it looks like a kangaroo, and it's looking for a bunny, a dinosaur, and a hippo to have fun with. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you stop? I was just getting into it. What's all the loud music? 
more like a loud noise. Woohoo! Yay! This is very fun. <laughs> Woohoo! I love loud noises. I'll be back. for a nap, and they need total quiet so they can sleep. <sighs> Aren't they the cutest, sweetest, snooziest? Okay, Mia, we'll keep it down. <sighs> Every time I make some noise, someone always tells me to be quiet. I mean, wouldn't it be great if there was some place where we could make as much noise as we wanted to? Yeah. Where no one ever complains if you're loud. Yeah! Shh! Or says, shh! Hmm. <gasps> the land of the loud! That's where we need to go. Where's that? It's where we can be as loud as we want. Awesome! Land of the loud, here we come! Shh! <laughs> hey, hey, we've got an adventure. You can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Sing this song. Sing this song. We sing this song. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. Rats, you woke everyone up. Oops. Shh, don't worry. I'll sing you back to sleep when the noises are gone. Rock-a-bye babies on the back lawn. You'll go to sleep when the noises are gone. Wait up, guys. <laughs> Kind of quiet for the land of the loud. Loud, 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 loud. Loud, 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 loud. Now that's more like it. Hey, let's really make some noise.
Where's Sophie going? My ears hurt. I need some peace and quiet. 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 Wait, Sophie! Hey! Stop! <laughs> Sophie! Stop. Slow down! <sighs> <sighs> quiet at last. Yeah. It was fun being loud for a while, but even I'm glad it's over. Uh-oh. It's not over yet. What do we do now? I, I wish, wish Mia was here to sing a lullaby. Maybe they quiet down. Kobe, you're a genius. I am? Well, sing a song about being quiet and get them all to join in. Okay, you start. <laughs> Papa, I'm almost there. Oh, no. 
Mr. Papa. You're okay. You're okay. Wait a second. Mr. Papa is a toy cat? Shh. He doesn't know he's a toy. I guess there's no job too big or too small for Super Eddie. Sounds like Super Eddie has got a case of super hiccups. Superheroes don't get hiccups. There's only one surefire cure for hiccups. We have to scare them away. That will never work. Nothing scares Super Eddie. Wait, I got an idea. What if we turned our jungle safari into a jungle scare fari? A jungle scare fari? Go ahead, Sophie. But you'll never scare these hiccups away. We'll see about that. Hit it, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Scare Fari's going to scare away Eddie's hiccups? I just need a little help from. <laughs> ah, monkeys! <laughs> hey, you guys, want to scare someone? <laughs> the jungle's even more <laughs> fun when you're a superhero! Let's go exploring! <laughs> Don't worry, we'll scare him next time. Well, they sure scared me. This will definitely scare him. Eddie! Want ooh, to play ooh. a game of hide ooh, and seek? Ah. Sure, you hide first. One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three, four, <laughs> five, <laughs> six, <laughs> seven, <laughs> Eight, nine. Ah! That was awesome. Super Eddie can fly. Let's do it again. Ah! I've got one more idea that will definitely scare him. So, Leonard, if anyone can get rid of Eddie's hiccups, you can. Super ready! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Superhero, huh? <laughs> I eat superheroes for breakfast. wasn't scared at all. That's, that's impossible. Don't be upset, Leonard. You tried your best. You were super scary. Just not <laughs> to me. Woo! <laughs> Ooh! 
Everyone's scared of something, even if you say you're not. Everyone's scared of something. Give me whatever you've got. If I turn off the light, will that bring out your fright? The darker the better, I always shout. Everyone's scared of something, even if you say you're not. Did I mention I'm scared of the dark? Did I mention I'm scared of a lot? Huh? Rats or black cats, twisty old trees, spiders or snakes or things you can't see. Everyone's scared of something. Everyone's scared of something. Everyone's scared of something. Everyone's scared of something. Everyone else but not me. Scare you? What what makes you say that? Ah! Yikes! Thunderstorms! I admit it. I'm scared of thunderstorms. They're so loud and big and angry and and Eddie, it's okay to be scared. Some superhero I am. When the sky roars at me, I just roar back. <laughs> Take that, you thunder. Roar! Hey, thunder! Roar! Your turn, Eddie. Come on, give it a try. Okay, thunder, take this! Roar! Roar! You did it. You named it and tamed it. I named it and tamed it. Roar! <laughs> hey, everyone. Eddie's hiccups are gone. You're right. We scared them away. Roar! 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 This is the story of Little Miss Muffet who sat on a tuffet. I didn't know what a tuffet was. Is a mushroom okay? <sighs> Little Miss Muffet sat on a mushroom, eating her curds and whey. What are curds and whey? <sighs> Little Miss Muffet sat on a mushroom, eating her apple. Then along came a spider and sat down beside her. <gasps> and Super Eddie came to the rescue! You're not in this fairy tale. Hey, nothing says fairy tale like a superhero. Now, Miss Muffet, are you scared of spiders? Uh-huh, spiders. <laughs> Well, Miss Muffet, you've named her fear. Now you have to tame your fear. She's supposed to be frightened. Okay, down, spider. Sit, spider. <laughs> nice, <sighs> spider. Run away, run away. But I'm not scared anymore. <sighs> oh, well. So little Miss Muffet sat on her mushroom, eating her apple with her pet spider that she wasn't scared of at all. All. The end. Yay, Yay Miss Muffet! Muffet. <laughs> <laughs> and now, live from our backyard stage, welcome to our version of Little Bo Peep. Let's hear it for Sophie Bo Peep and Eddie Bo Storyteller. Sophie Bo Peep has lost her dinosaurs. Him, Eddie, it's sheep. Right, sheep. Sophie Bo Peep has lost her sheep. I'm so worried I can't even sleep. Where are you, sheep? I'm so sad I might... <gasps> weep. Poor sleepy and weepy Sophie Bo Peep. <laughs> Greetings, Earthlings. We come in peace. But our ship comes in pieces. Uh, Tessa, Mia, we're trying to... We are not Tessa and Mia. 
we are a two-headed alien from a distant planet, and we would like to be, be in, in your play. play. Sorry, but there isn't a two-headed alien in Soapy Bo Peep. But we have sneaker hands. There aren't any of those in the story either. What about polka dot feet? Mm, nope. I knew we wouldn't fit in. We are different from Earthlings. We'll just fix our spaceship and go home. Sorry about that. Okay, who wants to see the rest of our play now? <laughs> Oops, wrong sound effect. No, that gives me a great idea. Why don't we go somewhere we can do our play with real sheep? Yes, we'll go to the farm. Hey, want to come to the farm with us? We cannot leave our ship. You must go without us. Okay, see you later. Hit it, Ziggy! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. You can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. 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 Hey, hey, we bought an adventure. Okay, you sheep, let's see who's got what it takes to be in the play. Ba 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 ba. Wonderful! You can be sheep number one. Ba 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 ba. Wow! I think we have our sheep number two. Ba! Not quite what we're looking for. Sorry, um... Simon. Simon, yes. Really good try, though. Hey, guys! King Pigalot is coming to see the show. Really? When? Uh, right now. I have arrived. Now, entertain me! <laughs> You're on! Welcome, farm animals, and, uh, your royal pigginess. Well, thank you. <laughs> when the story begins, Sophie Bo Peep has lost her sheep. I'm so worried, I can't even sleep. Where are you, sheep? I'm so sad I might... <laughs> so sad I might... <laughs> I might... Might. Dance? Juggle? Stand on your head? I love the suspense! I might have to go find my sheep. That's not your line. I think Simon is running away because I might have hurt his feelings. How? I mean, uh, how about we take a short intermission? I told Simon he couldn't be in the show because he doesn't sing very well. I've got to apologize to him. Keep the show going while I'm gone. But I can't! Sophie Bo Peep has lost her sheep, and she will find him. Oh, I didn't expect that. Very good, very good. What happens next? Next, right, yes. Uh, I know. How about some jokes? Why does a rooster watch TV? Anyone? For entertainment! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> entertainment! Get it? <laughs> oh, was that supposed to be funny? Oh boy, I'm in trouble. Simon! Oh, Simon! Where is my sheep? Answer me, Simon. It's Sophie Bo Peep. Bye. Simon, 
I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. So sorry I am. Please, can you talk to me, dear little lamb? All the other sheep sing great. I just wanted to sing with them. But all I can do is... I get it. I know. It's hard when you can't be part of the show. You should go back. The king's waiting. You've got the lead role. Eddie's got everything under control. <laughs> Thanks for trying, Sophie. But I can't sing like the other sheep. My ba-ba's different. Simon, wait! Don't run away. Listen, there's something I want to say. North or south or east or west, we sing this little tune. Earth is different from the sun and different from the moon. I wear a pair of glasses, my glasses help me see. And if I didn't wear them, I'd walk into a tree. Different in just one little way, but it's cool they make me different, cause different is okay. We're froggy little bullfrogs, and froggy just keep seeing. And a froggy color is a froggy shade of green. A fruit and different color. Tangerine, I say. And it's cool that we are different, cause different, different is okay. North or south or east or west, we sing this little tune. Earth is different from the sun and different from the moon. We're all a little different. And that is why we say it's cool that we are different, cause different. Dear friend, it's okay. Simon, I've got the rule for you. Come back. I'll show you what to do. So, Sophie Bo Peep has lost her sheep. They're lost in the fog. So thick and so deep. Where are you? Where are you? Can anyone hear? Ba that sounds like Simon. Simon, my dear! Simon, oh Simon, keep making your wonderful sound. The others will hear and soon be homeward bound. Ba Bravo! I pronounce this the greatest Bo Peep story ever! Tessa! Mia! I mean, two-headed alien! Are you leaving? Yes, we are going back to our planet where we are not different. But there's always room for different. So, will you please be in our play? Okay, nice earth person, what is the play about? Hmm, well, what if a two-headed alien lands on Earth? And an Earth guy borrows their spaceship for a spin around the galaxy. Whoops. And then Sophie Bo Peep goes to play with the two-headed alien while the Earth guy fixes their spaceship. This is an excellent story. <laughs> Hooray! Yay! Yay! You go! But, Eddie, we agreed. And I changed my mind. But... What was that? Beats me. Anyway, I really want to go on an adventure to the restaurant. But we both decided... to go to the pirate ship. And then I decided to do something different. What is that? Oh, it's me, 
Why are you being so grumbly? It's not me being grumbly. It's my tummy. The dog stole my breakfast, and I'm starving. Hold on. I think I might have a... Here, half a grilled cheese sandwich. Still warm. My favorite. Thanks. Well, we should definitely go to the restaurant now. You're hungry, right, Mia? I could eat. Okay, have it your way, Mr. Bossy Banana Pants. Great! Hit it, Kobe. I mean, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this is going on here? Finally, it's way past our lunchtime, and we're all very hungry. The dog must have eaten their breakfast, too. Thank you very much. Um, you're welcome. We beg your royal pardon, King Piglot. We didn't know you were waiting for us. So, what's on the menu? We were hoping you'd tell us. Well, that's great! We can make whatever we want! Come on, guys! Be right back! Splendid! Thank you. So, guys, what can we make the pigs for their lunch? I know! Pizza! Everyone loves pizza! Especially you, Eddie. But I love pizza, too! Me, too! Me, three! Okay. Me as well, I guess. It was my idea, so I should be the boss. How about everyone's the boss of something? Okay, but I'll be the boss of everyone who's being a boss. Mia, you can be the boss of greeting customers. Tessa, you be the boss of taking orders. Kobe, you be the boss of scrubbing the dishes. Um, gee, thanks. You're welcome. And what about me? Sophie, you can be, um, the boss of being my assistant chef. Your assistant? What does an assistant chef do? Well, whatever I tell you, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I am the boss. Hmm, I don't know about this. We want food! We want food! We want food! We want food! Okay, team, let's get to work. So what's first, boss? We're going to need flour for the pizza dough, and lots of it. How much dough do we need to make? All of it, for one giant pizza. Really, are you sure? Sophie, of course I'm sure. I'm the boss, remember? Okay, if you say so. <laughs> Just wait till you have to wash all the dishes. <sighs> Hi, how are you today? I will be your server. We're hungry. Hey, what's to eat? What would you like today? May I take your order? Hey, where's the grub? Welcome. <laughs> where's my food? I'm super hungry. Wow, that's one giant dough ball. It sure is. Good luck, boss. The good news is that they all love pizza. The bad news is they all want it now. Can't you stall them? Mia's trying. She's telling a fairy tale. But I'm not sure that three little pigs is the best idea. And so the big bad wolf said, 
all huff and all puff and I'll blow your house down. It's horrible. Okay, well, I just need to throw it in the air and catch it. You know, like chefs do. But that dough is huge. Shouldn't we do it together? The boss wants to do it himself. That's right. I'm in charge. I don't need any help. But... <clears throat> oh, no! The dough ball! We have to get it back! But you said you could do it yourself, Eddie. Yeah, boss. You get it back. I'll never be able to catch that giant dough ball all by myself. I need your help. Okay, but on one condition. Right. We work together. Yeah, no bosses. Okay, you got it. Now let's get that dough ball. And then the big, scary wolf right to the roof of the little pig's house. <laughs> Keep the stories coming, Mia. We'll be right back. Hurry, catch the dough ball! Quick, it's getting away! <laughs> we have to get it back! Oh no! Ew, yuck! That's one disgusting dough ball. It's ruined! What are we going to do now? You know, the pigs might actually like a muddy pizza. Hey, Sophie's right. It's covered with all their favorite gross things. But how will we get it back to the restaurant? Wait, I have an idea. Kobe, can you drive a tractor? Yeah. I guess pigs aren't the only ones who like mud. Need a hand? And this little piggy went wee, wee, wee all the way home. Ooh! <laughs> wee! One giant and quite delicious mud-covered pizza with extra grass and straw and other gross stuff. Oh, thank goodness. I was running out of pig stories. You made this, Chef Eddie? We made it together, your pickiness. All of us. Even me? Sort of. Well, I must say, that is a pizza fit for a pig. A pig king, that is. <laughs> and what, may I ask, is for dessert, Chef Eddie? Hmm, better ask a team. I'm not the boss anymore. <laughs> That's my tummy saying, I'm still hungry. <laughs> My tummy just said the same thing. Mine agrees. That makes four of us. Since we couldn't eat the pizza, I thought you guys would like some cookies. Cookies! cookies! Yeah! Yay! Yay! Mm. Good. Thank you, Eddie. Hey, don't look at me. It's Lucky! Here, Lucky! <laughs> and now, live from our very own backyard stage, it's magnificent Mia and her sensational circus! Hooray! Hooray! Oh boy, can't wait! For our first amazing act, the amazing Benini will fly through the air while doing a triple tumble. Oh. All right, right for Mia! Good job, Mia. <laughs> thank you, thank you. 
Next, the greatest juggling act ever, Zebra and the Bear. This is juggling Tessa style. <laughs> wow, Tessa's really good. Amazing is more like it. Tessa, I'm doing my circus. Just trying to help out. I love the circus. I'm a really good juggler. I can see. Hooray! Right, Tessa! Wow, good very job. impressive. The circus is so much fun. You've been to the circus? Lots of times. I know all the moves. I want to go to the circus. I want to be in the circus. Me too. How about we go to the circus and put on a circus show? Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Mia, can I wear the ringmaster hat? Well, I guess so. Hit it, Ziggy. And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song Sing this song What? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Circus closed a long time ago. I'm just here keeping an eye on things. That's okay. We didn't come here to see the circus. We want to be in the circus. Oh, putting on a show, are you? Hey, that's great. Tell you what, you go right on in and leave the rest to me. <laughs> to put on the best circus ever! Tessa style! Mia, you're on the unicycle! It's easy to ride, only half as hard as a bike. You can do this! Eddie, this is for you! Now, now just dance, dance on, on top, top of it while it rolls around. around. Whoa. <laughs> Get on the ball, Eddie. You can do this. Kobe. Ugh. Did I do that right? They're juggling moves for juggling. Whoa. It's lunchtime? You're going to be our star plate spinner. Balance plate on pole, spin plate. Easy. You can do this. Okay, circus performers, let's practice. Practice, practice. That's right, you heard me. There's going to be a circus and everyone's invited. Uh-oh. 
This way to the circus, folks. Just follow me. <laughs> guys, guys, <Yeah>. guys! <gasps> Don't you want to put on the best show ever? We were just having fun. This is circus time, not clown around time. Well, that's it, folks. Step right in. Plenty of room for everyone. Great. Here comes the audience. I guess I'm going to have to do this all by myself. Tessa, Wait a minute. we can help, help you. No, forget it. <sighs> you can do this. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, animals of all ages, welcome to Tessa's One Ring Circus. <laughs> We've got a great show for you. I mean, I've got a great show for you. I mean, I, uh... I guess it's just going to be me today. Aw, oh, too bad. Too bad. It's just me, all alone in the spot. And I'm really not feeling so hot. Just me, the one, the only. Missing my pals, kinda lonely. There are things more important than getting your way. Like telling charge for now. I think today we should have Mia's dance party. But I don't know what to do. Maybe your animal friends can help. Thanks, Tessa. You don't need 